Hi, everyone. Okay, click all my buttons. Get everything going here. Welcome. Happy Monday. I don't know if Monday is really all that happy. That's why I need to go live every Monday so we can have fun on Monday and do some stamping. I know that Monday is not everybody's favorite day of the week, but it's fun to stamp on Monday night, don't you think? Welcome. I see some people popping on already here. You know the drill. When you pop on, say hello and uh, tell me where you're from. I love, 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 love going through all my comments after my live is done. And one of my favorite things to do is look at where everyone is watching from. So um, I love it when you tell me where you're from. Hi, Jody. Welcome. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> Tonight, whew, let me get a drink. Tonight, I've got, I feel like, a pretty good variety of styles for the cards. Hi, Kim. Welcome. Hi, Bernetta. Welcome. Oh, that's so sweet. Bernetta says she can't wait to see what I'm doing tonight. I am featuring tonight this set, Punch Party, it's called, and I'll give you all the details about it. Uh, but I have to be honest with you, I struggled just a little bit designing my cards tonight. This set is not one that's my normal style, so it challenged me, but I'm super excited with what I came up with. Hi, Sarah. Welcome. Thanks for watching. Hi, Vicki from North Carolina. Thanks for watching. I think I mentioned last time North Carolina is one of my favorite places I ever visited. It's so beautiful there. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Julie. Welcome. Happy Monday, ladies. Glad you could join me tonight. <sighs> so for those of you who don't know me, oh, hi, Patricia. Welcome. Your first time watching. I think you're going to love it. We have a lot of fun stamping together on Monday nights. <clears throat> Thanks for stopping by. Um, so for those who don't know me, my name is Rose Grunewald. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And my passion is to inspire and coach your creativity. I have so much fun doing these lives. I am stamping with you tonight here in my studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. Isn't it super fabulous here behind me? <laughs> you can see I have lots of inspiration, lots and lots of cards on my inspiration board that I like to swap out from time to time. If you are watching live and you didn't hear me saying it as you were popping on, make sure to say hello and tell me where you're from. Um, every comment and every like gets you entered to win some prizes. And also when you share my video, it enters you to win prizes. So just take a minute and hit that share button down there to share this video on your timeline. When you do that, it makes my heart happy and it supports my small business. I'm so appreciative. See what happens then is your friends who might be crafty see the video and I get to inspire them as well. And I just love doing that. If you are watching the replay of this on my YouTube channel, take a minute and hit that subscribe button down there in the comment. And you can comment right along here in YouTube as well. I check those comments too, and I love to see all the love and comments that you send me. So thank you so much for all of that. Hi, Rhonda from Maryland. Oh, Patricia's from Oklahoma. I have never been there. So that's one place. And actually, no, I have been to Maryland, Rhonda. So, but I've never been to Oklahoma. So that's cool. Thank you, Julie, for sharing. I so appreciate that. I think that we should get started with prizes right away. What do you think? So you might remember last week. Let me get out my cards. Last week, we made a whole bunch of cards. We made this one using a touch of ink. Isn't that beautiful on the inside? And we made this butterfly card. I have received so, so, so many compliments on this butterfly card. 
super stunning. And hi, Arliss, thank you for sharing, welcome. We made this thank you card. I wanna make sure you can see the texture, that painted texture in the black. We made that and we didn't have time to do the inside. I have to do that yet. And you might remember we made this stunning, simple, but beautiful. Do you see that sparkle from the Wink of Stella on there? We made this last week on the live and then I showed you some other colors. See that? All right, so my first prize is for likes and comments. And what I'm giving away is this set of four cards. And the winner of this is Bonnie Jonas. So congratulations, Bonnie, you win this set of four cards. I don't have your address, Bonnie. So if you would shoot me a private message or send me an email at countrycardsbyrose.com countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com and send me your address. I'll get these in the mail to you. Oh my gosh, so many more people popped on. Hi, Missy. Welcome. Thanks for watching. Hi, Kay. Oh, and I saw Marge is on here and Lorraine. Welcome, ladies. Thanks for joining. Hi, Doris. Okay, so that was our first prize. Bonnie Jonas. Congratulations, Bonnie. I'm going to put these cards. Okay, our next prize, I'm getting low on these card kits, but our next prize is this fabulous card kit. Um, it features the Touch of Ink bundle again, and you have everything you need in here to make four different cards. And there's some goodies in there to tell you about paper pumpkin and some flyers and stuff like that too. Lots of fun stuff to give you all sorts of inspiration. And um, this is a pretty simple card kit that you could put together. And if you don't have the touch of ink set, it is definitely generic enough that you could swap out something that you have. And, um, ribbon or embellishments or something like that. The winner of this is for sharing my video from last week. Um, and this winner is Robin Stender. So congratulations, Robin. I do have your address. So I will get that in the mail to you this week. I have super good news, you guys. I am ahead of the game. I have all of my Dragonfly Garden classes packaged up and they are sitting on my kitchen table to go out in the mail tomorrow. I'm so excited. So thank you to those of you who ordered my Dragonfly Garden class to go. They are getting mailed tomorrow, super excited. Next month, I'm rolling out a new class, so watch for that. All right, I have a lot of projects tonight, four of them again. Let me turn a little bit more light on. We're gonna get to stamping. I want to know while I'm getting my supplies out, how was everybody's weekend? Did you guys have a good weekend? Did you do anything fun? Let's see here. I hope I can remember how I did this card. <clears throat> um, John and I, we had a great weekend. We went to um, my parents' hunting land to pick up some uh, wood for John's sawmill. So that was a lot, a lot of fun. Okay. Tonight, I am playing with the Punch Party stamp set, okay? Now, some of you might be like, Punch Party? I don't even recall seeing that stamp set. Well, you might not have seen it at first glance because it's on the almost very last page of the celebration flyer. So let me talk about this. It tells you that when you host a party, you get the Punch Party stamp set for free 
once you reach a $300 order. Let me tell you how I got punch party because I didn't host a party. I put in an order for all of my paper to stack up and my paper pumpkin for the next 12 months. And I was at the level to get this stamp set for free. So if you want to host a party, you can talk to me about that and we can get you all set up. If you've got some crafty friends, that would be fun. But for those of you who have this, I'm giving you some inspiration tonight. For those of you who don't have it, these are pretty generic sentiments, but you definitely could swap these out, no problem. All right, we're gonna warm up with some simple stamping. Okay, I have got here a piece of crumb cake. And just like my card bases, this is uh, most of my card bases. This is a half sheet of cardstock. So it is five and a half by eight and a half. And then I fold it on that four and a quarter line. So our finished card is five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I have got two other sheets here. This is a piece of the basic white. Actually, this might be a piece left over of my Whisper White stock. Um, hard to tell, they're so darn close. Um, and then I've got a piece of Blackberry Bliss. Now this piece is cut at five inches by three and three quarters. And this white is an eighth of an inch smaller. So it's four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And before I get to stamping, I'm just gonna show you that we're just gonna have a little tiny border around that card. Hi, Joanne, welcome. Thanks for joining. Oh, Sharon stayed home and played with the dogs. You know, we have two dogs here. They had a lot of fun with us out at the land. Uh, what kind of dogs do you have, Sharon? We have um, two plot hounds. Well, one is a purebred plot hound and one is a plot hound mix. He's a Heinz 57. But um, our purebred plot hound, she... Those dogs are bred for hunting bear, which means they have a real stubborn, outgoing, have no fear personality. And she definitely has that, let me tell you. Very, very determined dog. And they had a lot of fun running around out there in the woods. It was a good time. All right, I'm taking the heart here the heart from this punch party. Now the thing to know about this stamp set is that it coordinates with tons of punches. Um, the rectangular postage stamp sets, we've got some new oval stamps, a heart punch. So I'm using this heart from the stamp set and I've got it inked up here in Blackberry Bliss. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of stamping here. We're going off the page a little bit and that's okay. Like so. Three hearts. Looks like they're kind of floating. Clean it off with my chamois. If you don't have a chamois, you need one in your life, trust me. Um, the chamois is amazing. It's like my favorite thing I ever bought. In fact, I have two of them so that when I need to clean this one off, I don't always get around to cleaning my stuff right away, um, then I can use the other one. Okay, now in this stamp set, there's also this solid heart. So I've got that mounted and we are going to stamp that next. Oh, Lorraine has a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. That sounds like a very regal dog, Joanne. <laughs> um, Lorraine, sorry, I saw Joanne's name pop up. That sounds like a super, super regal dog. I'm gonna stamp off before I stamp this. And I'm just stamping these hearts. 
kind of whimsical. Yes. Oh, this is your favorite color, Patricia. Blackberry Bliss, one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it when I combine it with crumb cake. I think that color combination is very sharp. So let's see here. Next, I'm going to look for my Coastal Cabana. Love this color too. Make sure I got that clean. Yep, I forgot if I cleaned it, but I did. Oh, a Husky Shepherd mix and a German Shepherd. Oh my gosh, and Kim's got a 10 month old yellow lab. Wow. Shane, it sounds like you have had those dogs and had a lot of fun and memories with them. And Kim, it sounds like <laughs> with a 10 month old yellow lab, my goodness. Those labs have a lot of energy. There we go. Do we have enough hearts? What do you think? I feel like we could use maybe one more right here. Yeah. Oh, isn't that funny how our dogs just, oh my goodness, they steal our hearts, don't they? They certainly are something else. All right, so I have got my stamping pretty much done. And now I'm going to do Bernada's favorite technique here. Oh, Sharon, I didn't even catch you also have a miniature poodle. Super, super fun. Okay, I'm grabbing my Blackberry Bliss marker. And um, I've been doing this a little bit more lately. I'm going to do some ink spritzing here. Just flicking that marker tip into against my felt tip marker here and getting some of those ink splatters all over. Just adds a little bit more depth and color, splash of color to that card. I don't even know why I'm putting these away because I'll probably use them in like two more minutes. <laughs> all right, now one thing to pay attention to when you do these ink splatters is sometimes your surface can get a little wet with ink. <clears throat> but mine looks to be okay. Here. This is three quarters inches wide by four and a quarter across. And here's what I'm looking for. I'm going to grab the stamp in here that says a heartfelt thanks for everything because we have hearts all over the front of our card. Grab my Blackberry Bliss here and I'm going to stamp this on my strip. It does look nice with the splatters, Bernetta. I think it adds a perfect touch. Oh, Sharon, you had a buckskin plot. Those are so pretty. I love them. They're not super common, I'm reading, to have a buckskin plot. You probably, let's see if I can get this right, remember how stubborn those darn plot hounds can be. Very determined and stubborn. I did pretty good with that, don't you think? Oh my gosh. I don't have to turn that over or anything. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. <clears throat> it's like going to be a lines up perfectly straight on your strip of paper. Don't you think? That's the day we should be playing the lottery, ladies. 
Okay, I am going to glue. Did you hear the angel singing, by the way, when I used that stamp and seal? Um, I'm going to glue this down onto my Blackberry Bliss layer. Just like so. So we just have a little bit of that Blackberry Bliss peeking out. <clears throat> And now I'm going to glue this to my crumb cake layer. You see how well that Blackberry Bliss, I absolutely love Blackberry Bliss with crumb cake. And apparently I have glue all over my fingers. Okay, we're going to glue this on the front of our card. There we go. And now we've got this piece of, okay, this came, um, it's featured in the spring catalog. It's the striped ribbon and it is Blackberry Bliss. If you missed it, it's on the page with the ice cream sweet. <laughs> Bernetta heard the smooth. I cannot find the ice cream sweet in here when I want to find it. I think I went past it. Here we go. Right here. So if you missed it, here it is on page 49 of our spring catalog. This ribbon is super, super beautiful. Let me put my catalog back here, you guys. Just one minute. Um, you can kind of see through it. It ties really nicely, but we're going to use it just for a little pop of color today. So let me... I think I have this a little bit big. Yeah. Wow, that's too bad, Sharon. I think that the buckskin ones are absolutely beautiful, and that's probably why they're so rare. Okay, I'm gluing down this ribbon and I'm using my seal plus, which is even more smooth than the seal, if you can believe it. We're just going to glue that ribbon down and we're going to grab our dimensionals. I have been using the edges. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? Mostly because I'm afraid that Jody's going to yell at me again, but I have to say, I'm starting to notice when is a good time to use the edges instead of waiting until the whole thing is done and I'm forced to use the edges. If I am forced to use the edges, it's not so much fun to use them. Maybe a rule breaker that way. I don't know. Okay. And now I am going to line this right up just over the top of our ribbon. And apparently I cut this piece way too long. So let me just move my dimensional in a little bit. There we go. And trim this edge. Here we go. Our first card is done. That was a pretty simple card. Just stamps, ink, paper, and just a little touch of ribbon. What do you think? Isn't that cute? I love it. Now, of course, you can put some bling on it. I don't know. How do we feel about these? Black dots, I feel like, would be good. Got to have a little bling sometimes. Yeah. 
Oops, go there. There we go. My uh, embellishment bin is getting a little full. I need to organize it a little bit better because it's like doesn't want to stay shut. <clears throat> there we go. First card is done. Okay. And here is my practice card using a little Coastal Cabana. Do you like them both? I think I like the crumb cake better, but the Coastal Cabana is super fun. And I embossed that white layer too with the Settles embossing folder. It turned out really, really nice. So our first card, complete, done. Love it. All right, let's get our mess cleaned up here and get to crafting our second card. Put our stamps back, set our blocks aside, and my ribbon. Okay, second card. All right. Card here is using some paper that maybe doesn't look familiar to you. So let's talk about this for a minute. Um, oh, I'm super thirsty. I had a lot of salt for supper, so. All right. Again, we're using our Punch Party stamp set, of course. Um, but this paper might look a little bit different to you. And it is coming from, let's see, we're going to use this mossy metal piece and the smoky slate piece. And these are coming from the pack of neutrals designer series paper that is not in any catalog yet. This is one of the packs of paper that you can get for free when you sign up to be a discount shopper. So when you sign up to be a discount shopper, you save 20% on your orders. You have a wish list of like $125 worth of product and it costs you 99 bucks. There's no shipping and no tax. It's already included in that $99. And then you get 20% off of your purchases as long as you remain a discount shopper. And you do not need to build a business. You don't have to go live and make cards, you know, like I do. You don't have to do any of that. You can just enjoy the discount and be a hobby demonstrator or hobby discount shopper. They call them hobby demonstrators and just enjoy your discount. When you sign up during celebration, so for one more month, you, um, you get these five free packs of paper. Um, there are 40 pieces in here. So that's like 200 pieces of paper and they all coordinate with our color family and have really nice patterns. So you're definitely gonna be able to use these papers. I've been using them quite a bit. Um, so if that's something you're interested in and you want to learn more, you should um, talk to me about that so that we can um, just kind of get you whatever information you are looking for. Okay, we're gonna make two cards at one time right now. And I'm gonna show you how to cut these the best way. We need a strip off of here that is three quarters of an inch wide. So I'm gonna cut that first. Okay, and this is one of, from the neutrals pack, the smoky slate. And then this one, again, our mossy meadow is the color for this one. We're cutting another strip three quarters of an inch wide. 
Okay, next we need to cut a piece that is five and a quarter by four. So, and my five and a quarter. Perfect. So this should already be five and a quarter because I cut three quarters of an inch off. Yep, and then we'll cut this one down to four. And then we have these extra pieces that we can use all sorts of different ways. I'm just going to set them aside for now. Okay. And then we've got a card base that's mossy metal. It's a half a sheet of cardstock. Hi, Kelly. Uh, Lorraine, I will get you the link. Um, as soon as I am done, I will shoot you the link in a text message. Um, <clears throat> and for those of you who are watching the replay, I will post it above in my description so you can just sign up. It is a really great deal right now because that paper is like another like 60 bucks worth of um, product. And then um, the other cool thing, uh, Lorraine, I know you were interested in some of my online classes. When you're on my team, you get the PDF tutorials for my online classes for free for being on my team. So that's a perk too. <clears throat> um, okay. So these strips, sorry, I, I moved my cutter and realized I was not done cutting the strips. So these strips that we cut three and a quarter inches wide, we need to cut them down to three and a half inches. And I've got two of them here. I'm just gonna line them up so I can cut them both at one time. Little trick of the trade. And we'll set these aside to use too. Okay, so for those who you know didn't catch as I was doing it, we've got two strips three and a quarter inches wide by three and a half, and then the other piece of DSP is five and a quarter by four. And we're gonna mix and match patterns here. So this will go with this one, and this will go with this one. All right. Next, I've got my triple banner punch here because I am waiting for my other banner punches to arrive in the mail. I just ordered them today. They're a little bit more suited for these thinner pieces, but this is what we'll use right now. I'm sticking that little strip in there and just um, punching out a little triangle to turn this into a banner. And I'm going to do the same with my smoky slate piece, like so. I like to look in that little window and see um, where I'm cutting. Hi, Carol. Welcome. Well, better late than never. Carol says she missed my first card, running just a little late. No problem. I've got four cards tonight. I hope I have time to make them all. <clears throat> All right, and we're making two at once right now. So here's what we are gonna do. I'm gonna set these little strips aside. Okay, ah, getting ahead of myself, ladies and gentlemen, if any of you are watching on the replay. Okay, we're gonna be lining up this banner here kind of in the top third or so of our card. And we're just going to listen to some angels sing and use our Stampin' Seal. If you have liquid glue and prefer to use that, you can use that as well. I happen to love the Stampin' Seal, but I have heard from some ladies that they like their glue, and that's okay. You can use whatever adhesive your little heart desires, and my little heart definitely desires some stamp and seal. Okay, so let's 
that centered as best we can. I feel like that's pretty good. When I make my cards, I am all the rave about this snail combo pack, the Blushing Bride and White Twine. Wow. There's also, ow, I just hit my knee. There's also a combo pack called Well Suited, and you get a piece of Knight of Navy and Basic Gray. And they come together in a package. And we're going to use this gray here on our cards. This is a brand new package that I'm opening up. So I got to rip that tape off. For some reason, I didn't want to come off super easy. All right. So I'm going to wrap this around our card a couple times. Like this, one and two. Now a little tip, I noticed that this layer is on the bottom. So when I bring my other um, twine around, I want it to come up around this side on the bottom so that it's not crossing over the first wrap around. I'll show you what I mean after I get this tied. Okay, and I'm going to tie this, my little trick, I like to tie this in a knot first because while I could call for John to come up here and lend me his finger. Remember last time I explained, he's just not that kind of husband. He doesn't want to be tied down to me tying my bows. So I have to figure out some way to get these tied without an extra hand here. And that little knot is my trick of the trade. Okay. So... Do you see how when this wraps around, I'm gonna try and bring this closer and let me move my light here a little bit. There we go. That bow is tied. Both of those strings come together on the bottom layer. That's what I mean when I say wrapping it around the bottom, okay? All right. Now we're gonna do the same with our other piece. Isn't this amazing how we've got the same color combination so far, but you can tell our card fronts are gonna look totally different. We're using exactly the same layout, exactly the same patterned paper, but our cards are going to look different, very, very different. So how many of you will use the same layout on multiple cards? Is this a trick of the trade you already know? I do this quite often, you can probably tell. Um, it doesn't make my brain run so hard thinking of you know, different ideas to make. As fun as the design process is, sometimes I just need to get up here and make some cards, you know? All right, now this twisted around, so I'm gonna try this again. John just let my cat up here. <laughs> I don't know why he did that, but he did. And he seems a little feisty, so I hope he doesn't like jump up here and interrupt my stamping. All right. Are you still with me? How are you liking this project so far? Are we surviving the evening? All right, now we've got our twine wrapped around and we need to adhere these to our card bases. So, get my angel sing and seal out here. 
and there we go. My gosh, that twine in the way kind of threw off my little roller. And make sure this is right. Glue this down like so. I am getting a little bit nervous that something has disconnected on my end because it's been a while since anything popped through. I hope that I am not frozen. I have no idea if I would see your message if I was, but if everything is okay, would someone mind just saying, nope, still good on this end? I see people popping on, but I'm not seeing any um, activity scrolling, and sometimes that happens because people get quiet. That's okay. I just want to make sure I am not frozen or that your comments are not frozen. All right, so we have glue. is Smoky Slate. And now we've got our other halves that I'm going to use as scraps here. Oh, Jody says you're good. Okay, great. Thank you, Jody. <clears throat> okay. So, Mossy Meadow. I got to find my Mossy Meadow ink pad. All right. What saying should we do, huh? I feel like this happy birthday would be good. If I can find it in here. Um, oh, here, it's in the middle of the heart. I was like looking everywhere. Where the heck did that happy birthday go? All right. Oh, thank you, ladies, for letting me know. I was a little nervous. <laughs> okay, I'm stamping Mossy Meadow on Mossy Meadow here. So on my smoky slate too. Happy birthday. And I'm gonna grab my rectangular postage stamp um, punch. This is a new one to me. I um, got it not too long ago, so you might not have seen it in my lives before because I haven't used it very much yet. All right, just punching those out. And now we are gonna grab our card bases. You see how easy this is. Gotta grab my dimensionals. And I'm just going to put a few on here. I think that an edge would be just perfect here on the bottom. <clears throat> I can't even believe I'm using the edges. You know, when I first started using dimensionals, I, um, I didn't like using the edges, so I would throw away the entire edge sheet. Some of you are going to have a heart attack hearing that, but I would throw it away. You're going to be in shock. I know, right? I didn't like using the edges. So, stand it up in my garbage. All right, and I'm tucking my little postage stamp here like so. What do you think? How are you liking that? That's a pretty simple card. These are great man cards. And we're going to do our favorite. Let me find my mossy meadow in here. My favorite technique to jazz these up just a little bit. Some ink flicking. So here we go. I like to go kind of diagonal across like that. 
and we'll do this here. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Kim loves the colors. I do too. I think my husband's really gonna like these. I'm gonna have to grab one and set it aside for him for his birthday. So these make really simple man cards or woman cards if they love that color combo. And I absolutely love them both. Now I wanna show you as I was playing around with my paper, I made a few others and let me make sure my ink is dried on. Here's one using Misty Moonlight and Cinnamon Cider. And then it uses that Knight of Navy twine from the pack. And then here's the opposite with Cinnamon Cider as the main one. And um, here is one that uses the Highland Heather and just a different pattern of Highland Heather with that white really makes And this one says, sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. I thought that was so beautiful. And special day, I like to think could be a birthday card. It could definitely be a baby shower card, a wedding card, um, all sorts of stuff. And here's one with mint macaron and Highland Heather. And I also added some of those new opal rounds. And I think that's a pretty sharp um, color combo too. So that same layout makes a whole bunch of different cards and um, these come together pretty quickly. I mean in about what 10 minutes we made you know two of them and once you get on a roll you definitely could make a whole bunch more. So that's our next project of the night. What did you think? Now, I didn't do the insides. Um, usually I do the insides, but I have so many darn projects, I'm afraid I'll run out of time. <laughs> so, yes, the Highland Heather was the first one I made, and I just was like, oh, and then because I love the soft colors so much, it was really hard for me to um, kind of get okay with some of those deeper colors. Um, but then I found those good combinations and uh, I loved it just as much. Okay. So let me get my next project ready. You know, when I was designing the cards for my live here, I did it this weekend. And, um, I was a little bit blocked, kind of stumped. And so I thought, well, let me just turn to a different, um, like a different paper and, and, and stamp set. And I made a card and today I came up here this morning and I thought, okay, before I got ready for work, I looked at it and I thought, you know, I could totally swap that out and um, use it uh, with these other colors. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. I've got um, some pieces already cut for you. And let me move some of my stuff around so I can see my notes and tell you the sizes for these cards. All right, we've got, uh, for this one, we've got a card base. It is a blushing bride, half sheet of cardstock. So five and a half by eight and a half, and then you fold it at four and a quarter. This, I don't know, is not for this. And then I've got a piece of So Saffron. This is three inches wide by four and three quarters tall. And then I've got a strip here that is five and a half inches tall to match the height of the card. And it is one inch wide. And then I've got this other piece of designer series paper 
That's an eighth of an inch smaller than this other layer. So this is two and seven eighths by four and five eighths. Now these patterns came from our settles pack of the free paper that you get when you sign up to be a discount shopper. All right, this card is pretty darn easy too. So we're going to just get to gluing some stuff down right away. I'm gonna glue this um, so, oh, and you could use any pattern. Kind of plus sign. Ooh, who hears the angels? Oh my gosh, I love hearing them sing when I use that seal. Okay. Lining this up. Now, for those of you who like your tape runners, you can probably attest to this. For new um, crafters using tape runners, it can take a little bit for us to get used to lining up straight um, you know, layers on here. So just have a little patience with yourself. Practice makes perfect. I just wanted to let you know because sometimes it doesn't quite work out as well as we think. And I've got just a little sliver peeking out here. So I'm gonna trim that off, there we go. So I'm gluing that strip down to my card base. And I'm gonna come in here with my snail combo pack and I'm gonna grab the Blushing Bride. Do you think I should do, I was thinking about doing this as a double. I think that would kind of be fun. Let's see. I think it'd be fun to do it as a double. Let's see if we can. I'm not always super coordinated enough. Hi, Melanie, welcome. Just finishing up dinner. Tonight, John and I got takeout. I drove um, our diesel truck the other day and it was like on E and I was a bad wife and I did not fill it up when I was done. <laughs> and so it's been sitting out in the cold and John's like, you know, we really should uh, fill that up with diesel. I'm like, yeah, we should. And he goes, I wouldn't be opposed to filling that up with diesel tonight and stopping and getting something for dinner while we're out and about. And I'm like, <laughs> If it means I don't have to cook, I wouldn't be opposed to that either. So that's what we did. We got takeout from a local restaurant here. And I had a turkey club and it was fabulous. It's been a while since I had one of those like triple decker clubs. It was so good. I don't mind cooking, but there's something about like when I have to do it that it's just like, you know, like when I have to use the edges of my dimensionals, it's just not fun anymore. Okay, I am honestly not so sure that I like this double ribbon. It's not doing it for me, guys. It's too bulky for me. So, scratch that. We're going to go back to the original plan. And I say it's too bulky, but then I wrap it twice. Oh, no, I didn't want the extra bulk in that bow. <clears throat> Burnett, I went to Riverview. You probably know where that is. And it was delicious. They had a soup tonight too. I always like to get their soup because it's so darn good. It was like a creamy chicken with potato or something. It was so yummy. Sorry for those of you who haven't eaten dinner and probably making you hungry. 
Okay. Now we're going to tie this in a bow. And of course, I'm like getting all twisty with my bows again. I don't like that I do that. I have always twisted my shoelaces when I tie them. And now it's carrying over to my bows. Snip off these ends. All right. And now we've got this so saffron layer. So let's pop that down on dimensionals. Like so. But I also had fries and soup and that turkey club. And so now it, that was like too much salt. I'm like super, super thirsty. I have to slide this ribbon over you guys so I can make room for this on here. So I keep going to my water because I'm so darn thirsty after dinner, which happens a lot when you eat out anyway. Do you notice that? Okay. Let me find my pink. So I think these colors are pretty and soft and would make a wonderful card for a baby, like a little baby shower or um, to welcome a new baby. So I'm going to use the stamp that says, oh, baby, you are already loved more than you know. And then I'm going to grab my Blushing Bride ink pad here. We're going to stamp this. There. And then I've got this two inch circle punch, just perfect for this size sentiment. Pop that out. And I am going to put the left side on dimensionals, but the other side is going to be glued down. Oh, that's a good point, Melanie. Melanie says, it's funny how much we appreciate eating out when we haven't done it for a while. I totally agree with that. It's just like, I sure miss eating out. There we go. And I feel like, do we think it needs some ink splatters? I think we do. I think Bernetta would say yes. Okay, Blushing Bride, should we find it in here? Here we go, I think this is right, yep. I don't even know that I have ever used this marker. Nope, see it's nice and clean on the inside. Well, there's a little splatter there. Okay, here we go. Ink splatters across. Let's do some more. Cute, how about some bling? Should we bling it up? I like these opal rounds. These are pretty, they're nice, beautiful, soft colors. So let's grab a couple of those and put them on here. Kind of match. And one more. And put this one up over here. There we go. Hi, Kim. Welcome. Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. There we go. So here's one for baby girl, and here's the um, coordinating one with the yellow as the card base. You love these? Oh, yes. Good idea. Margaret says she uses the wink of, of Stella to splatter. You definitely can do that. 
and it will be some glittery splatters. What do you say we make our fourth card for a little boy? And I'll do the cutting for us. <clears throat> Actually, I might already have it cut. Yeah, I do. So I've got card bases cut here. I've got so soft sea foam and balmy blue. And these are already cut. And now we just need to cut our designer series paper layers. But I have to be reminded what size. So let me look at my notes here. <clears throat> okay, so we need a strip that is two. Okay, one. one inch, and then we'll cut that off of here, two, one inch. So I like to make these kind of two at a time. And then our next layer is going to be four and five eighths by two and seven eighths. So four and a half, four and five eighths. There we go. Nope. Sorry. Yes, that's correct. Four and five eighths by two and seven eighths. I thought that I, whoops, helps if I use my cutting blade, huh? And then we'll do the same here. We'll go two and seven eighths by four and five eighths. I scored it instead of cutting it at first. <laughs> okay. Move this out of the way. And now we will Get to put our stuff together, huh? Okay, so we've got our balmy blue layer and our soft sea foam layer. I'm gonna do it like this. And we're gonna glue these down. That's how easy it comes together, guys. When I glue these layers down, by the way, I don't line up all of them. I just line up and make sure that the width on this side and the top two match. And then I'll know, since I cut it straight, I'll know that it's all lined up. Oh, this little glue thing wants to like hang on here. There we go. So I just make sure that the width is the same, top, bottom, and side. And then when I put it down, it's even all the way around. Works pretty darn good. Okay. Got our layer. I have a string on my shirt that keeps getting in the way here. There. Cut that off. And we've got a soft sea foam layer here. <clears throat> All right. So we will do our And I'm gonna line that up here, glue that down, and then I'll just trim this end off. Another card. Now, do any of you...
Any of you craftier cards that are coordinating like this? I like to make them kind of two at a time when I use these coordinating designer series paper, especially because then I've got everything kind of cut. Yeah, you know what? Um, we've had, so I had cats when we had both of our dogs. And, oh, did I do this wrong? I feel like this goes here. This goes here, there we go. Um, so they were just kind of used to them, honestly. So the cat, um, our, <laughs> one is pretty cuddly and the other one kind of has an attitude. And the one with an attitude rules the roost. And the cuddly one, he's just like, has no craps to give because he just wants to cuddle. <laughs> and so they're actually pretty good. But to be fair, we had the cats when the, when the purebred plot hound came in as a puppy, we already had the cats. And I also already had cats when my other dog was a puppy. So they just kind of got used to having cats around. But um, if there are strays, they do think that they are something that they can hunt. So they know that our cats are in the their pack. Um, so they're good with our cats, but not necessarily other cats. Very prey driven, um, those hounds are. All right, so I'm gonna use, I'm using the white from our, uh, I think on the next one, should I use white or navy from our well-suited? I think the navy might look kind of pretty on the next one, so we'll try that one. White's definitely a soft color, but maybe you might add a pop to it. Oh, good. Kim does two or more at one time, too. I am not the only one. I just think as long as you're cutting the stuff, you might as well cut a few. And especially when they are like coordinating colors like this, it's really fun to just kind of make more than one at a time. All right, I'm gonna do the navy on this one and we'll see how this turns out. Now, well, sometimes we just gotta try different colors and see. Yes, everyone's voting for navy. And then the cool thing is, like, even if you didn't want to make a baby card, you can see this color combination is beautiful um, for all sorts of sentiments. I don't want to stereotype our color. Sorry, I'm tying my bow off screen. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, I'm so excited. After I'm done, I get to watch The Bachelor. Are any of you watching The Bachelor? If you are, I think we should talk Bachelor because I would love to know what you think of Queen Victoria on there. She really is something else, I tell you. She makes me giggle, though, because she's kind of sassy like me a little bit. And I feel like uh, maybe in my college days, I might have hung out with somebody like her. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Kim. Kim says, great way to use that paper. Thank you so much. All right, now putting this on here. Okay, so we got our layers. Where is my balmy blue? I haven't used that in a while, so I gotta find it. Balmy blue, here we go. And I'm gonna use that same baby um, sentiment. I've got a couple scraps here. Ooh, Patricia says Easter colors. Yes, you are so right about that. Now I'm gonna remember that Patricia because I have a little Easter stamp set in here that I haven't played with yet, but I'm gonna remember these colors for when I dig that out. Now I need to find my circle punch, here we go. Okay, punch and punch. Ooh, I really like that um, balmy blue stamped on the soft sea foam. Looks really nice. Okay, so which way should we do it? Like this and like this? Yes, I'm liking that. Put some glue on our other side, adhesive here. We're almost done, guys. You're hanging in there with me. I usually do tonight. But it was worth it to see these adorable cards come together, don't you think? Those are punches. There we go. And how about our finishing touch? I'm feeling like some balmy blue would be great for ink splatters. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I have actually really not splattered the palmy blue before. So there we have it. Our soft sea foam and palmy blue color combos. Cute, huh? That came together pretty darn easy. And the paper, I love it when the paper does all the work. Of course, we've got our blushing bride and so saffron. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way so we can be reminded of all the cards we made tonight. And then we got this adorable set of Misty Moonlight and Cinnamon Cider and then some Highland Heather and Mint Macaron, Mossy Meadow, Smoky Slate, and then our warm-up, Simple Stamping. Look at all these cards. Oh my gosh, so amazing. I hope you liked these projects. I was a little nervous because I was having a hard time coming up with projects um, for you guys for tonight. Um, and just a reminder, if you need supplies, I would love to be your demonstrator. It totally makes my day. I would be so thrilled. If you um, want to shop my online store, you can find that at countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com. And when you buy supplies, I would so appreciate if you use my host code for this month. It's 9HDAFEJT. Now, you should only use this code if your order is less than $150 because I use the rewards I get to purchase the supplies to give away for prizes, to make your card kits, stuff like that. Um, but if your order is over 150, you should talk to me because you should be getting these 
five papers here with a discount shopper kit and 20% off of your order instead of placing a 150 because um, that's the best deal in the catalog and then you save 20%. So, um, all right, that is it for my cards for tonight. Um, I just want to remind you for a minute that, let me turn this light off here. My paper pumpkin kit came, I haven't even opened it for you for that. Um, and that's Thursday night. I'll be live again Thursday. Um, and that's at seven central time. Uh, showing you some alternates with your paper pumpkin kit. I don't even know what's in there. I haven't opened it yet. And you guys, I haven't even seen the spoilers. So who knows? Um, and that's just kind of a fun night we craft together. And I talk about all the wonderful things you can do with paper pumpkin. For those of you who are subscribers, you will get ideas for what else you can do with those kits. So it's awesome. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to wrap up and go watch my guilty pleasure, The Bachelor, and see what kind of drama. Maybe tonight will be the most dramatic rose ceremony ever. Who, who knows? But seven and next Monday at seven, stamping with you again for another Facebook Live. Thanks for joining me tonight. I had a lot of fun chatting with you ladies that were here watching me live. Thanks for keeping me company. I hope that you were inspired and that you go create something. I'm so, so excited when you create things when I've inspired you. All right. Have a great evening. I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.